Gina's Pizza. Yeah, we're in Laguna. Laguna Beach, very nice location. Janus. Where are they, Tom? Yeah. I'm protecting myself. There's masks there for you guys. You're just waiting? Hi. Hi. Uh, I ordered um, for Garrick. It's like three nachos and a asada plate. Garrett, they said. It was very positive. Thumbs up. Okay. Thumbs up from Can us. Pull us out now? There we go. Thank you. Got it? No, thank you. Do you want your lime, your lemon? No, you can take everything. Yeah. I mean, everything? No, you can take those two. Yeah, baby. No, I do. Yeah, oh. baby. Dude, it's really hot. Be careful. Is that the bacon wrapped jalapeno? Yeah, it's super hot. Cream cheese? You just Good. fucked up your whole meal. Wait till that thing kicks. I like hot. I mean, this is hot. It's good. It's coming. This is not that hot, this jalapeno. I want a little more push. <laughs> it's nacho day. Another day, another nacho. We are reviewing nachos today. Well, first off, I'm Gary. Can you say nacho one more time? Nacho. Greg, introduce yourself. My name is um, Shelebuff. Shelebuff. My name is Geronimo Alabaster. I am. <laughs> I'm Garrick, this is Greg. Welcome to the Nacho Review. This week we are coming from, well, we're coming from the same place. We're wow. the same spot every time. Asada. We're quarantined. Oh. Asada in Laguna Beach. <clears throat> it's, uh, it's chicken and steak <clears throat> nachos. We didn't oh, add a shitty cheese in there, right? Look at that. It, they said it's a jalapeno queso. It looks like it's a 7-Eleven cheese. Well, they say it's a jalapeno queso. Yeah, 7-Eleven. Okay. All right, everybody knows the rules. What's the rules? We're chip uh, dexterity, overall layering. What's your dexterity? <laughs> <laughs> and quality of cheese. Look at cheese. that right there. This is good. This is takeout too, so it's not soggy yet. It's on a lot, almost soggy, but it's not bad. Here you go, first bite. What do you got? I, I got steak? And chicken. All right. It's good. It's not bad. Tomorrow is uh, Derek's birthday. So I'm gonna make a homemade version of a nacho. This is not a good sign right here. Not good. It's not bad. Soggy chip, so that's not good. It's not. Um, it's it's not bad. The jalapenos are fresh. Well, are they? Mm-hmm. They taste real fresh. Oh, Jesus Christ! It's fucking there. A good amount. There's definitely a good amount of meat. Can't complain about that. But I, don't know, I feel like there's not a lot of crazy amount of flavor, you know? What do you think? Well, it's hard to know how, how long they've been sitting for before we picked them out because we were late. Not Everything skewed for the coronavirus, though. So. This is a coronavirus okay. review. We're going to redo all these reviews outside of the coronavirus. The quality of the meat is there. It's good. The layering, meat's good, but... The steak is real good. The layering, the layering of, of the nacho is tough. We're going to give everybody a second chance if, if we ever are allowed to go back to a restaurant again and redo these, redo these um, reviews. But I'm not, uh, so not... I was looking forward to this. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of disappointed. Mm. Just saying. What's the rating? Number rating. Mm. What, what bites? You gotta, you gotta... It's gonna get a few bites. Got it, got it. I hope it gets better. You can't add a third party sauce until you review it. That's a constant. That would fuck it up. Because this is not indicative of talking? the restaurant. Yeah, just stop talking. <laughs> I'm just trying to keep a controlled study here. Dude, usually when you eat, you just, the only time I get silence. It's just your fucking still. I'm just making sure this animals. is a controlled study. These you, people on YouTube, the people of YouTube, would annihilate you. Oh. They like this place. They would say, you know what? You know what? Your, your review is invalid. YouTube or Yelp? Whoever the fuck. Those people, people who write Yelps. If you write a Yelp, don't ever write You're me. You're fucking, yeah, you got some serious issues. I'm gonna go home and rock. I'm gonna go home after the restaurant and write a, a strongly worded review. Review. Or just say it's fucking terrible food and not come back. If I go eat food, I don't like the food, I never go there again. Fifty percent of people are super cheap. And they look for shit that's wrong with their service or food, so they don't have to. They feel better not tipping. Fifty percent. I just made that. Up. I feel like it's fifty percent. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I would say these are about a uh, 
I think these are like, honestly, I'd like gas station nachos. Yeah, I would say like a like a six point four. Yeah. Six four. What do you think, Tom? The quality of this is. What do you think? I would say. rate it. What do you think? Five and a half. Mm -hmm. right. It's not good layering. You want it to be blended, right? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that like you don't want to be able to do this. If I pull a chip out, there's nothing bare on it. chip. That's yep. Why, that's why I yes. gave it. A, you don't want to be able to get a bare chip. Yeah, that's kind of why I gave it a low rating. Bare chip. Bare I like chips the are rating. good. This is like soggy too. The cheese makes it soggy. They they don't know that this is an amateur move. Yeah. Okay. Well, mine's gonna be five point two. Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a five point two. Guys, right, we're looking forward to this. <clears throat> In their defense, I've eaten here. I've never had their nachos, but their their food is good. This is good. But um, Asada food is good. Nachos, not not so good. But they have great Yelp reviews. I Yelped best nachos. I've been there too before. Asada, Mexican food, great. Laguna Beach. I understand it's a takeout. During the corona. Nacho. But like, I would rate 7-Eleven nachos in, in the fours, and this is a five. 5.2, 5. 5. is that a given? 7-Eleven has nachos? Yeah. Well, they did when I was a kid. I haven't eaten there mm. since. I didn't think. I didn't know they had a 7 Eleven when you were a kid. Oh. This is week three from our nacho review. Newport Beach, California. Osada. Right? I pronounced right? Yep, yep, yep. Laguna Beach, nachos. 5.2? Yeah. You're 9.1? No. 6.4. 6.4. Okay. We should rate it before we eat it too. Like look at it, or rate it, and then eat it and then see if we have the same rating. I yeah. would have given it a higher rating when I looked at it. This is like Me that too. girl that just looked beautiful and then as soon as she opened her mouth, it's just annoyance. Okay. Just annoying tone. That's gonna offend a lot of girls. No about. depth. Just like, what do you do? I just concern myself with where my friends are going, what they're doing today. This is, the, this is how you want to wrap it? I have I have no goals. <laughs> this is how we're wrapping the show right here. Careers. Just offending every female person that's out there. Yeah, I mean, someone's got to say it. You just can't let them just take, take, take. They got to work for something. Well, you know? tune in for the the Bill Burr's version of the gold, <laughs> gold digging horrors on Sunday. <laughs> but Sunday or Friday? I don't know what day. Whatever next day. Episode. Have fun. See ya.